the Jewish Week on JN1. Israel is commemorating National Holocaust Day, and instead of remembering the six million who perished, Keshet, one of the country's leading broadcasters, has decided to dedicate a whole evening to a very impressive documentary that they have co-produced with a Canadian production company, simply entitled The New Anti-Semitism. Jane Wan exclusively got to talk to Jacob Elon, one of the people behind the film and the host of this world premiere special event. And we say here today to you, Israel, we see your crimes and we loathe your crimes. And to us, your nation does not exist because it is a criminal injustice against humanity. I think that people have no idea how big this is in the internet. And I think uh, the power of distribution is the biggest prize for these haters that they could ever hope for. And this is pretty scary. This is a co-production between uh, Israel and a uh, Canadian uh, production company. Altogether, uh, we have been around the so-called Western world, from South Africa to the United States, Canada, England, um, even to Pakistan. Elon, who is one of Israel's most recognized newscaster and today the news director at Keshet Broadcasting, traveled to many countries to find out firsthand how bad the situation is. Well, sometimes you talk to people about, you know, the Jews in America, for example, and uh, you see some kind of general discussion and some may even call this justified criticism. But when you go undercover with cameras, like we did in some instances, you see a different kind of discussion at all. And there you see all this hate and all this prejudice coming out in a very, very profound way, especially in the United States where they are protected by the First Amendment. They are proudly and openly discuss their anti-Semitism without no fear, no problem. Hitler was too nice. That's, it sounds ridiculous to say it because your audience will have heard nothing but lies about Hitler for the most part. Oh, he killed all these people. No. Call me a racist, evil, Nazi hater, whatever. I want my kind of people to survive and prosper. People German descended, blue eyes, good solid people who built, you know, nice towns like this. I want them to prosper. I don't want the Jews to prosper. The solution to the problem is ultimately to exterminate them. In Europe, you have the darknet, and we have uncovered what's going on in the darknet. Darknet is a sort of a different internet where everything is anonymous, encrypted, uh, and uh, secretive. And there you have millions of people discussing hate, recruiting people, and uh, following people and trends in order to put their hands on specific people that they can recruit to do whatever they might do later. And this is quite unbelievable. The other stuff is those conspiracy theories where Jews are stars of. It starts with the uh, you know, famous 9-11 uh, uh, conspiracy. The latest one, which was quite shocking to us, was the uh, mass murder of Breivik in Norway, which is by many, many in this darknet uh, being portrayed as um, somebody who was sent by Israel to do this. Well, they're not just a problem in the U.S., they're a problem across the entire West. And they're a problem because they dominate the country by controlling the money supply and also controlling the mass media. Well, it is unbelievable to see how widespread anti-Semitism is throughout the Internet. And we're talking about the regular Internet and the darknet, which is even worse. The darknet is uh, sort of the bottom of the iceberg, where you have millions of people doing terrible things and talking terrible uh, this, having terrible discussions and of course anti-semitism and Jew haters have a big celebration there and we were able to trace the, those websites to the very people that operate them and sometimes you wouldn't believe the kind of people that you know stand behind those uh, websites behind the hate some look so normal and so your next door neighbor you wouldn't believe it but when you listen to them when you see what they write and how they um, instigate this hate, it's unbelievable. And I want to remind everybody here who Hamas is. And I say, we back your resistance. You resist. 
After such a disturbing expose, the question one asks themselves is, what next? And who has the power to do something about it? The biggest question is what to do about it. Uh, in the United States, the, f the First Amendment um, makes it very hard to impose any restrictions. In other countries, there are some laws, but it is very hard, apparently, to uh, enforce those laws when you talk about the dark net, where everybody is anonymous. Uh, and I'm not sure it's the top priority of governments to do that. Uh, and it's quite amazing that today, when you have almost uh, cyber armies, uh, this is something that is going on and going stronger all the time. Elon told us later how shocked and disturbed he was to find out how alive and kicking anti-Semitism is in the world and the fact that no one really does anything to stop it. Hopefully, as many people as possible will see this documentary and realize it is time to act now before it will be too late again. For JN1, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Holocaust Monument in Tel Aviv.